making a brief video here about the upcoming lunar eclipse, December 31st, 2009. I got additional information, and I put it all down on my iPod Touch. Just a brand new iPod Touch here. Okay, I got the <coughs> lists of uh, contacts on the lunar eclipse here. Um, so the lunar eclipse takes place December 31st, 2009. It all begins, uh, this is in, uh, converted, I think it's called converted universal time, UTC. 1747 UTC is when the eclipse begins. Now at that time you won't be able to see much about it, but it is, that's called, uh, the contact's name is called P1, which P stands for pen umbral contact. 1747 UTC that is when the eclipse starts, and if you need time conversions, um, just leave a comment. I I can convert the time for you. And then U1, that's umbral contact, 1852 UTC. This is where the most notable changes, most notable, yeah, most notable changes begin. 1852 UTC. At that time, uh, the moon will begin to disappear into the umbra. Greatest eclipse is at 1922 UTC, but at that at that time, this eclipse is not going to be huge. It's going to be partial, and only 10% of the moon is going to be gone. But still, mo uh, there will be a distinct darkening on the moon's surface. So 1922 is the greatest eclipse at that time. About 10% of the moon uh, will be disappeared, and it will be on the south side. South side of the moon will be 10% disappeared. 1920, 1922 UTC. Umbral 4, or U4 eclipse uh, contact, is at 1952. At this time, the moon is out of the umbra. The eclipse is still going on, but most, but all the noticeable changes ends at 1952 UTC. And P4, the absolute end of the eclipse, is at 2128 UTC. And at that time, the eclipse is completely over, and you have to wait for the next eclipse. Oops, it turned. So those are the different contact times. Again... Um, I can convert the time for you, um, if you need it. But this year, th this eclipse will be visible all over Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. Not be visible in the Americas, because we will be on the day side of the Earth when this eclipse occurs. You have to be on the night side to see it. So, if you need additional information about this eclipse, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, because I'll be happy to answer it for you. And also on this day, there will be a blue moon, but keep in mind, blue moon does not mean the moon will turn blue. In some cases, the moon does turn blue, but... Blue moon is just means that it's the second blue moon in one month. And that happens about every two or three years. So, that was the final update. If you live in the areas listed, um, enjoy this eclipse.